I'm not quite sure, honestly. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how that two characters out. going against each other to know exactly for sure. But anyway, we got round one starting up here. Um, sure, going with a classic Rotom Togekiss setup. Okay, we'll fix the um, overlay just one second. Um, okay. Uh, but so going in with Flare Blitz. For wing attack. So anti air, can she get the full combo? All right. The only two care, one of the two characters that severely gets severely uh, damaged by anti air is Waste Banner and Charizard. Of course. Ooh, nice light sensor by Fiora. Yeah, I mean, she is going. She's been going very aggressive this round. Normally we see like patient, a uh, more patient neutral from Fiora. But that time she just got in Zephyr's face, just kept kept going there. I think she knows that. Zephyrl, like Zephyrl and Charizard in general, loves to be the offensive one. Mm -hmm. He loves just getting you into the corner, and just keeping that momentum going. Mm -hmm. You don't give him any momentum; you keep all the momentum to you. Nice reaction from Fiora with the grab back. But yeah, you have a good point. There's really not much Charizard can do on the defensive side. I mean, on paper, Charizard does have strong defensive options. Like his, his counter is pretty strong. His fire punch is very strong. Eight white's a good anti here. But the thing is, they're very committal. Um. They're, like, they're very committal. If they don't work out in Charge's favor, then he can take a wild punch for it. Oh, yeah. Let's grab. Just denying that Eevee from ever coming out. Oh, yeah. That's going to hurt him a lot. And try to get an attack debuff on him. Counters just a little bit. Not enough to cause a patient. Flight stance is just killer. Dang. Okay. And uh, does not get to continue the combo, unfortunately. The oh. situation is a very interesting character. They, they, they can have very extensive um, field combos with the acrobatics. Oh, yeah. Acrobatics is amazing. Right here. Field face combo. Token kiss. Oh, six ah, six. No. Charizard goes in a burst. Wow. No fear, no fear whatsoever. You're contesting Mega Charizard. Like, okay. No. no. You're not getting okay, any. Okay, she's that. like going very risky. There's like this whole game she has been. Nice point throw there by Zephyrill. Still has that burst online. Uh oh. And she can. Okay. Ooh. I don't have to get it off. Nope. Ah, he does go for the uh, claw slashes in the air. J6Y. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've never seen Fiora play this aggressive. Normally, like, she can like just wait in the back, like do some release wise stuff like that. But she's just going absolutely in right now. Okay. A nice little combo there, doing a bit of damage. Mm, she's I was actually a nice meaty set up there. She was going for. It. Okay, like there's the eight Y. Like she could have potentially punished that, but like it's a it's a big commitment if it doesn't go quite right. Yeah. Belly bump for the end of the combo. Tries to counter. Nice offensive counter there. Zephyrl's really good about using those counters offensively because when if you like you're in the corner and Charizard starts countering, you can't really escape that. You can't like jump over it. Um, you just kind of have to shield it or risk going for the long frames. Yeah. Anyway, Zephyrl turning it around and actually taking game one right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was, a very, that was a very quick. That was, that was a very quick round right there at the very end. And someone didn't reset for the matches. But anyways, sorry, that's my fault. It's all you, good. You can make that my fault. I was playing earlier. All right, it's all right. So we're getting a change somewhere. Right. So we're switching between. Her. I th oh, I think she's stuck to. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So the one change for. The one change Fiora made was to um, go from wind skill support to, su uh, to support focus. Yeah. So definitely going for more consistency. Yeah, I think she still had to play a bit of a defensive game, and that's what ended up costing her. But I think the reason why she was able to go offensive is because she had wind skill backing her up. But when yeah. it stopped helping her, I think that's what happened. Oh, I tried to go for a grab a little too late on it, though, for Spectral. But again, offensive Charlie counter can be very hard to get around. <laughs> Lots of poking here. Tries to AY and he wasn't able to reach. Now Fiora did go Rotom this time around. She went there. I think she was going Togas the whole entire round last time. We'll see what, how she would use that. Doing the EV off. Zephyrl is in a really commanding lead right now. Oh, I think she's going to get hit. Oh, she's going to get hit. It's a trade. Okay. Yeah, it was a bit of a trade. Oh, and the grab. Okay, that had to have been a misinplay of JY. I Probably. don't see Zephyrl ever just doing wake up grabs. I don't see that. But it worked. It Something worked. Happened. Somewhere there was a misinplay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so 
I wasn't a good throw Tom. I am there. So, you're gonna have to pop her first out. Get her out of this corner situation. Oh, Ooh. nice offensive J line. Get no out of there. That's what I love about Fiona. She just has no fear uh, whatsoever. No wall spot. Now she has put Zephyr in the same situation she was in before. There's a grab back right there. A damaging grab right there. Ooh, tries to go for a wake up grab. Not happening that time. She's a little bit of still sitting on that burst. Going for the acrobatic. She's going for that grab a little too much. She's trying to catch on more. Yeah. Now we have an attack boosted Mega Charizard. This is scary. Oh, tries to go for a grab. Oh, there's so little end lag on that. Nice! Oh, that was an amazing yeah. bait from Zephyrl. The empty job, JY confirmed. That was an amazing that bait. Was Is that it? Right. Yeah. Alright, and there we go. Zephyrl taking it. 2-0 over Fiora. Very, very nice. <laughs> Alright. Alright.